All right, Dad, it's time for you to answer some questions. Okay. Go ahead. I wanted to make get your okay first. Yeah. What's that for? You're nuts. You fuck with me. All right, here we go. First question. Hi, my name is Tracy. And I'm JP, both from Illinois. And we have three questions for you. The first question is, if you ever drink, which one would you prefer? Jack Daniels or Jim Beam? Now, my question for you is, do you like a nice end table ass, like a big old booty? Or are you a titty man, like some big ass fucking titties where you can just rub your face in them, motorboat them bitches? And my, the third question is, what do you think about the Ariel Castro guy from Cleveland, Ohio, that kidnapped the three girls? Those are our questions. Get back at us. Bye, we love you. Later. Well, I love you. Later. I just think you're fucking hilarious. <laughs> Later. No goddamn questions about it. Jack Daniels, if you please. I love Jack Daniels. Get drunk, fuck yeah. Uh, as far as the ass goes, hell yeah, right high in the goddamn saddle, brother. Yeah, I like them big, I like them goddamn booty ass, big table booty asses. But you like a, oh, your end table ass. End table ass, I, I love them end table asses. And as far as that goddamn Puerto Rican motherfucker, son of a bitch, they need to rape him. Let's let 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 that rip his ass with fucking sticks and shit. Tie his ass up. Do whatever they want with that motherfucker. He needs to fucking die. He killed them goddamn babies because he didn't want her to have a baby. He fought up on the girl's face. Son of a bitch. He already just he need to be turned loose amongst the people for about one hour. Fuck him! Die, you son of a bitch! Die! Hi, Grandpa. Love the videos. Could you do me a favor? Could you please? Give my cat a kiss. Man, fuck your cat! Take that cat and stick it up your ass! I love Anonymous, but goddamn... But bring no goddamn cat around my goddamn face! Whoa! Chill out! I hate a goddamn cat! Hey Grandpa, I'm Gabrielle from Canada. My question to you is if you could change one thing about this world, like get rid of cancer or get rid of hunger or something like that, if you could change one thing drastically about this world, what would it be? That is so fucking simple to answer. If I could, if I could, one thing in this world, I would rid the world of vagina spiders! Then I'd put the goddamn raid people out of business! Cause you wouldn't need to raid cause you ain't got no more vagina spiders to kill. So yeah, that's what I do. I would rid the world of vagina spiders. And what else can I say? Fuck it! Hi Angry Grandpa, um, I'm Reese from Minnesota and my question for you is if you could only live like one one food for the rest of your life, you can only eat that for the rest of your life, what would be and why? What? I like I love your videos and your thoughts. Thank you. Bye. If I could live what? If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Bacon! <laughs> Ain't no goddamn question. Bacon. Bacon sandwiches, bacon tacos, bacon. Fritters. Wait a minute, that's kind of bending the rules there. Why? You bacon. One food. You can't just so I, that, that mean I can eat bacon. Bacon is a food. Yes, but you're just naming it. Can I bacon talk? Bacon is no, you cannot. Bacon is a food group. Yes, but you're bending the rule with it. Now you. Oh, I'll eat bacon, chocolate, and bacon pizza. Oh, I didn't bacon. think about chocolate. That'd be good. Bacon and chocolate. Oh my god. Please, you can name bacon every Snickers bar. You can name everything with bacon, so you can't do she that. She said a food group, and bacon is a food group. She did not say a food group. She said a food. And now all bacon is a food. All you can eat is strips of bacon. Bacon is not bacon. a food. Just cooked strip bacon. That's it. I can do that too. That's all you can do. I can do that too. I love bacon. I'm sending you, Mike. Hey. Uh, Grandpa, Michael, uh, big fan of the show. Um, I was just wondering if you could give my ex-girlfriend, Keisha, a shout out. Um, we were together for three years. Uh, she broke up with me a month ago because I got complacent in the relationship and now I'm trying to make amends. But we're big fans of the show and uh, yeah, if you could give her a shout out, I mean, she'd be really happy, I think. So, thank you.
Easy, man. Thanks. Do it. Keisha! Keisha, I'm, hey, Grandpa talking to you, Keisha. Look at that man, that man, that man loves you. You need, you need, you, you need to go back with him. And what was his name? I don't, I don't know. Well, anyway, Keisha, let me tell you something about this guy. You, motherfucker, you need to learn how to treat a goddamn woman. You talk about you being complacent. Maybe you need to take her out on a date. Maybe you need to send her flowers. Maybe you need to tell her how pretty she is. Man, look at that guy that kind of I want to. I, I just told Dad here because he's looking at the computer. I don't care. That motherfucker needs to treat his woman like Wait a woman. Wait a minute. You're, you're, you're ruining his relationship now. No, I'm not. If you'll do that, man, Keisha will come back to you. I guarantee fucking tee you. You can't go wrong, Keisha, with a guy with a Harry Potter tattoo. Yeah, both y'all are fucking crazy. But yeah. Did you ahead, just man. fart? What was that sound? Oh, shut up. You, hey, Keisha, the man loves you or he wouldn't be coming to me because he knows I'll cut his ass out. So, shout out, Keisha. Bye, babe. Hey, Grandpa. So, now that you've already posted what your ideal date is, what is your ideal woman? You. Oh, shit. I like that question. My ideal woman is a caring woman, a woman with, with, with a good heart, good soul, good... She can't look bad either. She got me. You know who's got a good heart? Mom. Look at I look at Michael. We are no longer discussing your mom or anything. Okay, I'm not. She was hot, man. She needs. She she needs. She needs to box me. <laughs> hey, Michael. My name is Juan Palomino from San Diego, California, and my question for Angry Grandpa is this: Who is your favorite character on The Simpsons? And if you want to, why? My favorite character is Mr. What's his name? Burns. Burns. I love that man. I mean, some bitch man. He's rich. Does anything he wants. Fucks everybody he wants to, and then fuck everybody. Burns is the best damn man on that show. I mean, you got goddamn other retards on there. You know, Bart said it, and Bart said it, and Lisa. She's she's man. I won't go there. Do you have like some sort of like real problem with The Simpsons like that I haven't heard of before? Do no, you? I just it's I like, like Mr. Burns. I think they all mistreat Mr. Burns. I think they don't show him respect. Because he's an old, mean bastard like you. Maybe that's it. We got shit in common. Maybe that's why I like him. Angry Grandpa. My name is Jack from Anderson, Indiana. And my question for you is, how long have you been a pro wrestling fan? And also, who is your number one all-time favorite wrestler? We know it ain't goddamn Hulk Hogan, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, AGP, take care. I've been watching pro wrestling since I was 12 years old. Man, back then, that's when Homer O'Dell, Otto Bogney, Bronco Lubrich, you know, the, the, the Flying Scott brothers, Abe Jacobs, Luthez, that was wrestling. That's when they really took the bumps. As far as my favorite wrestler of all times, that'd be old Haystack Calhoun. He used to walk around with a goddamn cow, and he and he knock you on the on the on the on the, on the goddamn mat, and sit on your motherfucking ass. Nah, not really. He wasn't my favorite. He was good though. I used to like old Haystack. He used to wear a goddamn horseshoe around his neck and shit. Wore overalls. Really, I think my favorite was uh, Johnny Weaver. I like Johnny Weaver more than any of them. He was good guy. So, hope that answers your question, Mr. Yard from Indiana. Hey, I'm in school, and my question is, have you ever had a pet? And if you have, what was your favorite pet? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't really seem like a pet person. So, yeah. What'd you say? What's it if you have you ever had a pet? And if you have, what was your favorite pet? My favorite, I, I had a pet one time, it's called a fucking Chia. And I used to give it a haircut about once a week. Why don't you start looking at the camera? They ain't talking to you on the computer. Fuck you. And Anna Poole, how you doing, darling? Me and you used to talk till I blocked you. Yeah, right. Angry Grandpa, what's going on, man? Big fan here, been a big fan for a long time. Uh, well, I guess I was going to say. I want to hear you talk a little bit more about Michael back when he was a little kid. <laughs> I like hearing about when Michael was a little kid. I bet he was a trip to be around. <laughs> but you was a trip to be around too, to be honest with you. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway. Uh, I like all of my vlogs I've been doing. Keep them coming because I really enjoy them. Is it really true about Michael and the dude? Oh my goodness. Michael. The hell was he thinking, boy? Anyway, look forward to seeing more videos. Y'all have a good one. Yes, it's true, Michael. Michael just shit so he, he had more shit run down his leg, he damn near paint a house with it. His goddamn, he shit so much goddamn shoe would fill up with shit. He'd have, he'd have to kill his goddamn shoes and wash them and then hang them out and dry. That's true. That is true. I forgot about that. I had to wash your shoes a many times and get the shit out of them. I, oh, man, I forgot. It. Uh uh. So, yeah, I'm Michael. Not, I'm not putting that in the video. Yeah, you are. No. Yes! So, yeah, well, keep them coming, brother. Keep them coming. You know what you remind me of? What? I like French fried taters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and me too. I kind of thought the same thing. Were you in that movie, man? I like the way you talk. I like the way you talk, dude. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Um, my question for you is, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, and, yeah, maybe what's your favorite song, band, or whatever? My favorite music is music by the Fray. Um, Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere up. along no, in the middle descent. A bit sevenfold, Adele. Uh, I like that kind of music. You know, I'm really into that. Mumford Sons. Well, if I stay up with you all night, would you know how to save a life? Can you shut your mouth and let me do my vlog? Hello, angry grandpa. My name is Sam McKinnett, and I live in Melbourne, Australia. My question for you is, would you check out my channel and have a look at one of my videos and react to them live on camera? Because that would be pretty awesome. I'd love to have to see what you think of the videos. Are they funny? Um, or do you absolutely hate them? I really want to know. So that is my question for you. Um, you can click go to my channel via the annotation. This is going to be uploaded on my second channel. So it's on my main, my main channel and the main channel is YouTube. Give the fuck. Slash the body challenge. Thank you, Grandpa. And um, hopefully this question gets on. Now you were watching his Warhead Hello, Challenge. Welcome to another episode, episode of the Mighty Challenge. Today Sebastian will be filling in for Liam who will be away. Today we are doing the Warhead Challenge! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna go down their throat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are warheads? Really super sour candy. <laughs> Anybody can do this shit. You want to take the warhead challenge? I'll take the warhead challenge. What's good, Angry Grandpa and Pickle Boy? My name is Dreek from Texas, here on YouTube. And uh, this is actually a two-part question. First question, I want to know, uh, when are you guys going to do live streams? Because I really want to see you guys more, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, pick a day, or try to pick a day of the week, you know what I'm saying, to go live streaming. Because um, I know a lot of people want to see you as well. The second question is, will you break stuff? Do you have to replace it? Because you break a lot of shit. So I, I'm just curious about that. Like, does Michael replace them for you, or do you actually replace them? And he's 
drink. I ain't trying to get all of you business, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I like his question. Thank you for the opportunity. What's his name? Deuce. I don't know. I am Drake. Dr Drake. Drake. Man, thank you for that question. D double question. Number one, no, I don't do the live stream. Uh, I've done it like once or twice. Really didn't care for it. No, there's a new thing. Is there? YouTube, you can go live on YouTube now. Oh, can you? Yeah, so people can come to our channel, watch us live. Oh. Uh, oh, you break your shit. You ever? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know if. If it's broken, you gotta replace it because you gotta have it in the house. I mean, yeah, I replace it. You don't replace it in some things. Most stuff we go to Salvation Army or Goodwill or somewhere, re pick up used. Because no one get broke again. But yeah, anything that gets broken has to be replaced. And Michael does buy a lot of it. But not all of it! Thanks for the question, Drake. What's up, Grandpa? I have two questions. My name is Liam from the United Kingdom. Um, Number one, I was wondering if you've ever regretted um, losing so much money by destroying so much stuff. And uh, my second question is, I want to know what you think about Pickle Boy's rapping skills. The answer, I, I tell you, I'm going to give you your answers, but then I'm going to give you something on return. Uh, I don't give a fuck, the Braves guy plays a big deal. As far as Michael rapping, I like to hear my I like to hear my son does do his rapping. I really enjoy it, especially about a boy. Okay. Number three, you need to take that goddamn shirt off and burn that motherfucker. Them goddamn Abercrombie and Fitch bitches say they don't want fat people wearing their shirts. Fuck them. Burn their shit. Put them motherfuckers out of business. You think a uh, skinny people is the perfect world? Fuck you. Now, for the record, you're not saying fuck the question. I'm not, no, not the guy asking the question. <laughs> Fucking Abercrombie and Fitch. Fuck them. They, they, they've goddamn. What's the word I'm looking for? They're singling out groups. Fuck you. Take that shirt off, son, and burn it. Because, you know, for that was there, Abercrombie and Fitch, who are you to decide who's good enough to wear your fucking clothes? I wouldn't wear your shit to start with. Why would I want to wear a shirt that says, a and F. That can, that can stand for out of farts. It probably does. We don't need you selling clothes. We don't need you trying to get money from people. How do we know that's true? What if it ain't true? Hey, I'm looking it up. I heard it on Fox News. Aber. You don't trust me, you fat motherfucker. I just gotta check this to see if it's true. It don't matter if it is true. Burn this shit anyway. I don't like them. Wait. What? What? ABC News. Yeah, it's true. Told you it was true. They don't like fat people. They don't want fat people with, or even medium-sized people. So you gotta be a skinny twiggy bitch to wear their fucking clothes. Fuck you, Abercrombie and Fitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you.